Hello, I'm Corinne Cox, a food service dietitian with HealthShare New South Wales. In this session, we'll be looking at the importance of patient food selection, following standard recipes and correct portioning on the plating line. When it comes to food in hospital, it's beneficial for patients to select their own food from the menu according to their personal preferences and appetite. This is also a requirement of the nutrition care policy. For these reasons, it's really important for food services to provide all the items the patient has selected from the menu and to avoid substitutions wherever possible. HealthShare New South Wales is working to ensure that hospital menus across the state meet the relevant nutrition standards. To assist in this process, we use standard food items and standard recipes so we always know the ingredients and the nutrient profile for menu planning. Some menu items will be portion controlled. The benefit is that patients will receive consistent nutrients per serve, which is important from a nutritional perspective. There's also no decanting, which means improved food safety and improved allergen control. PC items also tend to have a longer shelf life. There are standard recipes for staff to follow when making items on site, such as salads and sandwiches. This is to ensure that the same product containing the same ingredients and allergens is produced every time. If you're not sure where your standard recipes are at your site, please check with your site manager. Following standard serve sizes is very important on the plating line. That's because food items offered to patients on special diets are based on the nutrients per serve, ingredients, allergens and the total serve size. For example, a patient on a reduced sodium diet may get offered the beef stroganoff based on the standard serve size, but a larger serve would provide too much sodium, which could be detrimental to the patient's health. There are standard documents that list the scoop and portion sizes required to serve most of the food items on your menu, so make sure you're familiar with it. Tally reports are generated from the patient menu selections. They tell us the number of serves of each item required and allow staff to make sure the plating line is set up correctly. For example, we know that a 3.2 kilo bag of beef stroganoff has 20 serves. So if we needed 18 serves, a single bag would be enough, provided that the correct serve is being plated. If the serve size is too large, then the plating line might run out, which would result in a substitution having to occur. This should be avoided wherever possible. As food service staff, we all have a vital role in our patients' nutrition care journey, so we must make sure that patients get what they ordered and that the right meal goes to the right patient. This, in fact, is a requirement of the nutrition care policy, but it also has a big impact on patients because they really do look forward to receiving the meal that they have chosen. So in summary, following standard serve sizes and recipes is important for patient health and satisfaction and important for us in meeting our food service delivery goals. Thanks for watching. Now, please complete the online quiz.